U.S. Supreme Court nominee Elena Kagan was all smiles as she walked into the room, trailed by the leaders of the Senate Judiciary Committee. You solemnly swear. She was greeted by a standing room only crowd and senators waiting to hear her thoughts about the nation's high court. The Supreme Court, of course, has the responsibility of ensuring that our government never oversteps its proper bounds or violates the rights of individuals. If confirmed, Elena Kagan would become the third woman on the current court, and at age 50, the youngest justice. She would succeed the court's leading liberal, retiring justice, John Paul Stevens. The current court is split, with four justices usually voting conservative, and four often leaning liberal. Justice Anthony Kennedy is considered the swing vote, but he often votes with the conservatives. Democratic Senator Charles Schumer wants Kagan to steer the court back to the middle. The rightward shift of the court under Chief Justice Roberts is palpable. In decision after decision, special interests are winning out over ordinary citizens. Just about what I'm getting. Republican Senator Lindsey Graham wants Kagan to rule without regard to her political slant. I look forward to trying to better understand how you will be able to take political activism, association with liberal causes, and park it when it becomes time to be a judge. Each of the nearly the 20 Court. senators presented 10-minute commentaries to Kagan. Melvin Urofsky is the editor of the Journal of Supreme Court History. He says these speeches serve a purpose. It is the only time that the Senate can talk to the Supreme Court, that they can tell the Supreme Court through the nomination process, we are concerned about this, we are worried about this, we don't like this, or we do like that. Kagan's views toward the military are expected to be examined Tuesday. While dean of Harvard Law School, she opposed on-campus recruiting because of the military's policy of barring homosexuals from openly serving. The senators will also ask about her lack of judicial experience. She has never been a judge. Kagan told the senators her experiences will be her guide. I've learned that we come closest to getting things right when we approach every person and every issue with an open mind. In the past, Elena Kagan has criticized Supreme Court confirmation hearings as a farce, arguing that no nominee really reveals their stance on the issues. Now that she's in that position, analysts are anxious to see if she'll recant those words or if she'll clearly state her views. Carolyn Prasuti, VOA News.